Are you looking for some of the best schools in Massachusetts? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna give you a quick tour of all the different elementary, middle, and high school options that Andover, Massachusetts has to offer. And I thought the best way to do that would be to pull up a map so you could kind of consider where you might be relocating, what possible districts you might be in. All the schools here in Andover, Massachusetts have a very good reputation. I know some of the locals will state that their elementary and middle school is a better option than maybe some that are in the Northwest area or more central. Everybody has pride in the school that their children attend. So depending who you speak to, they might have a different opinion. But I would say you can always check out all the scores that the MCAS, which is the state exam, will show. And you'll see that the, the scores are pretty comparable from school to school. So they're all really great options. So what I want to do is uh, pull up the map and walk you through it. By the way, I'm Matt Witte, William Ravis Real Estate in Andover, Massachusetts. I want to give great information about the local area. So if you're interested in seeing a weekly video, please like, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube channel. All right, so let's pull up the map and see what we have. Okay, at this point we can see the map here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of geographically go through some of the different areas and what the schools have to offer. So let's start in the central area of Andover here. So little, little mouse here, you can kind of see. So what we have here in the downtown area, which got a little bit cut off here, but we have the Doherty Middle School, which is pretty much right off the common. There are three middle schools in the town that offer um, education for grades six, seven, and eight. And there are, uh, they're basically form a, a triangle, obviously, with three different schools in the different areas. So we'll start with those because there are quite a few uh, elementary schools, but we'll start at the middle school. So there's Doherty Middle School right near the downtown area. A lot of times you'll see the kids hanging out at the common or walking down Main Street. And that is our first middle school, Doherty Middle School. So if we go to the northwest corner of Andover, we have what's called the Wood Hill Middle School. That is one of the newer middle schools in comparison to the other two. And this is near the Tewksbury line. And as you could guess, it's called Wood Hill. There is quite a bit of woods up in that area. You won't see the kids walking around um, in, on the, the local streets there per se, um, but they have great fields and great facilities there in the Wood Hill Middle School. And it's an excellent option. And in terms of real estate, you get a really good value in the Northwest section in comparison to the downtown area, which is pretty costly or pretty expensive as we'd say. All right, so if we go down to West Middle, this is the, the middle school that is right near the high school, basically on the same piece of land, which is um, super convenient if you happen to have a middle schooler and a high schooler attending. So this is on Shawsheen Road, not too far from downtown. You can kind of see its proximity to Doherty Middle School, probably a, a five, five minute drive. Um, or a short stroll or bike ride, whatever you want to do. And that is our next middle school with grades six, seven, and eight. And it's considered one of the older facilities, but all the teachers at all three middle schools are, are exceptional. We're lucky to have such a great, great group of teachers here. All right, so let's take a look at some of the elementary school options. So the most exciting one we have here, in my opinion, is the West Elementary School, which is soon to be completed. It's a, gonna be a brand new school. Um, I believe it's opening in September of 2024, okay, so depending on when you're watching this video. So that will be a big draw if you happen to have elementary school children and you want to move to the area. And again, the, the elementary schools, just in terms of population, range from around 350 to 550. So there's a lot of elementary schools. And then in the northwest corner here, we go to the High Plain Elementary School. Again, we're very close to Wood Hill Middle School. You can see them on the map proximity here, probably walkable or definitely drivable, we'll say in the next, probably a minute or less, if they're that close. So that's your Northwest Corner, High Plain Elementary School. And let's go down to the south side of Andover, which we haven't talked about yet, is the South Elementary School, um, which I believe is on Woburn Street. Um, yes, it should be on Woburn Street. Large facility there, lots of fields. There's um, baseball, softball games there, etc. And then we go a little bit northeast to Bancroft Elementary, which is one of the newer schools. West Elementary will be the newest, but Bancroft is considered one of the newer schools for elementary. And then I believe we have Sanborn. There it is. Yep. Sanborn is the next elementary school here, which is 
right off of um, 133 area, Route 133. So kind of close to the highway, you can see Route 93. So good proximity. If you're gonna drop your kiddo off to school and then head to work, maybe to Boston. And that is what we have for elementary schools. And then we have Andover High School, we can see is right next to West Elementary. There are talks in town that they may be building or renovating the current high school. It's pretty old at this point. So uh, the town is talking very seriously about uh, what they're gonna do. There's been town meetings over it. I'm not certain anything is final at this point, but you definitely wanna check back with my channel as soon as I have anything definitive. I will definitely share that with you. So there is the roundabout of, of all the public school options that you can see here. And there are some private schools as well. Um, so we have the Andover Montessori School here, which is on the south side of Andover. We have the Pike School, which is right here. It's considered one of the top private schools in Massachusetts. And then we have Phillips Academy right here, Phillips Academy, where a few presidents went to. It's considered the top uh, private high school in the country. Um, and again, some people might argue that, but it's a gorgeous campus right off Route 28 on the south side of Andover. So it's a very picturesque place to walk around. Uh, there's a bird sanctuary that you can take a little stroll through. And those are some private school options. All right, so that is a quick roundabout in terms of our uh, geographical map and where all the schools are located. Um, you can certainly look up the schools on the internet and get some more details. Definitely didn't want this video to be five hours long because I don't think anyone's going to watch it. But hopefully this gives you a quick overview. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, Matt Witte, uh, William Ravis Real Estate. 978-273-0099. Maybe you're not looking for real estate, but I can definitely help you with the schools. My son did attend the public schools in Andover and we've been uh, longtime residents, my wife and I. So feel free to reach out anytime and I hope that you got some value out of this. Have a great day.